So I thought we'd take a look at this Duratool PCB holder in a little more detail today. Um, so we're going to get it out, we're going to put it together and see what it looks like. Now I bought this for the specific purpose of sort of filming over the top of it. Um, it may not work out for that, but it might just be good for normal soldering, we'll see. Or holding other things, who knows? So let's get it out. Oh God, it's not, not that easy. <laughs> There we go. Um, so I've moved my camera today, so you're not exactly where you normally are. In fact, you're really, really high up. Uh, not usually right down. Oh, hello. Good, it comes mostly assembled, it seems. Let's just pull all this stuff out. We've got some extra bits there. And this is, whoa. It is a lot bigger than I expected. Yowza. Yowza? I don't think I ever say that. Okay, it's heavy as well. Well, not, it's not really heavy, it's, but it's certainly heavier than the one that I currently use. I don't even know where that is. Where is it? This one. <laughs> so it's a lot, uh, it's a lot bigger. Uh, and I think this one was like five quid and this is 10 pounds or less. I think someone posted a link to CPC where it's a bit cheaper, but I think you have to buy a certain amount to, to get free delivery there. But um, still, God, I, CPC looks quite good. <laughs> Uh, so in here we've got just these bits of metal. So these are the sort of sideways legs. So it, I mean, it's pretty stable on its own. Like that's quite good. I'm shaking the whole table with that. So I'm pretty impressed. Let's get the, it seems a little bit dark. There we go, that's a bit better, I think. So um, <laughs> there's really not much to do here, is there? So we can have a look at the adjustments. Should we get the legs on? I think we probably should. I'm gonna need a screwdriver. I've got one here. It's only a little wee one. So let's just uh, take these bits out. So these are just uh, normal crosshead screws in here. Um, they go straight into bare metal, so there isn't uh, an insert or anything like that, but I don't imagine you'll be taking this apart very much. So it's probably gonna be one of these things where you put it together once and that's it. Uh, in fact, it's got these, uh, we'll zoom in and have a look in a second, but it's got plastic uh, sort of struts on there. So you won't wanna be taking it apart too much. Well, I suppose it depends whether it actually screws into those plastic bits or not. So that sits on top of there. And the other one goes here, I've got some NeoPixels all over my desk at the moment. They're not NeoPixels, they're the cheaper kind. I think I did a video, did I do a video? I have done a video, you haven't seen it yet though. Um, I'll give you a little sneak peek just because it's here. Oh no, it's, it's not populated, so that's all right. One of these little boards, um, which I suppose we can use to demo this, but uh, I'm working on a project. So, uh, I picked this up from Amazon for about $9.99. Um, I'll put a link in the description. It was in the mailbag the other day. So I'm just screwing these in um, while I'm telling you about it. But uh, I was kind of excited because it's such a big box for, a big box for $9.99 sounds silly, but I was a bit, um, I thought it was gonna be smaller. You know, when you buy things, you never, <laughs> I say you never, I never read the, um, the dimensions. Um, I tend to forget, and also sometimes I quite like the surprise when it's <laughs> when it's Chinese product. It's quite funny. Let's just turn that around, and we'll get the other screws in. Um, I have been caught out with that in the past on some things, um, whoops. but not often bigger. It's not usually bigger than I expected. It's usually a lot smaller. I'm not lined up there, am I? Let's try that again. Uh, so sort of my hopes for this is that uh, it's gonna be a nice little uh, sort of staging for videos and such. This isn't going in as easily as I thought. The, the lineup isn't amazing there, but it's it's gone in, so I'm not gonna fault it. It's probably good that it's a bit, uh, bit difficult to get in, to be honest, it means it will be a bit more sturdy. Uh, yeah, so it'd be, a a PC boot holder for when I'm doing videos. And it will mean that I can have the camera in a different position, but you know, I don't know if it'll work for lazy Sundays. That's a little bit uh, slapdash, isn't it? But 
So we've got uh, the main body, is it, they're rigid metal bars. These are steel. Um, they're certainly not aluminium, they're heavy. Uh, and I don't know, it's kind of like the stuff a desk would be made from. We've got some rubber feet here uh, with screws in, so you can take them out if you want to. Perhaps you could mount this on something if you really needed to. Uh, a little bit of a burr there. And on the end, we've got these sort of plastic caps, which uh, uh, stop the sharp bit from getting to you, I guess. Now, along the top bar, this crossbar here, we've got uh, the guides, the, uh, the plastic guides, which actually this is a bit loose. Okay, that's cool. Uh, it is unscrewed. Let's unscrew the other one as well so we can see if we can move around. There we go. So with, with this kind of thing, you won't want to just move one um, in a similar way to, to this one. So this one just has one section that moves in and out. Unscrew that. And it's got a spring, so this just goes straight forward like that. You can do it with this one if you wanted to, but it's going to make it a little bit unstable. So what you'd do is you'd move them both in together so that you've got a nice stable platform. Gosh, you can get... So you can go right up to it. That's pretty fantastic. So let's see if we can bung our board in here. I don't really know how these work yet. We'll play with it. So let's see. We've got a spring on here, so it is going to be able to grip nicely. So let's just pop it in. Um, standard thickness here, look. Uh, so that's pretty good. And I guess if you wanted a wider thickness, you've got these other sections here. Let's, um, let's come in a bit and you can see that. So yeah, you've got these wider sections here. So if you've got a board that's a bit thicker, you could pop it in there or smaller in fact. But uh, yeah, the standard thickness seems to be, what's that? One, one and a bit millimeters, 1.3, 1.6. So we can, uh, we can certainly do that and pop that in. So that's pretty good. And then we can tighten it up using that to stop it from, that's just to stop it from turning. So uh, we can rotate that board now once it's in there. If we were, if we tighten up these bottom legs, so these are the struts down the bottom. I know it's probably a little bit out of focus, isn't it? There's another one over here. If I'm lefty loosey, righty tighty. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, I tend to forget things like that. So now we've got it tightened, we can, um... <laughs> of course, it'll drop out the bottom because I didn't tighten it very much, did I? Idiot. Right, let's try that again. So we want it pretty tight. I suppose that's a bit of a, um, bit of a difficult one with this. So we have to tighten it so that the spring goes in. That's, uh... Oh, I see. So if you loosen this one here, um, it means that uh, it also grips the spring as well as stops it turning. That's interesting. So we've got the grip string spring uh, in place and it's gripping onto this circuit board. Um, I'm going to tighten that now. Uh, we can still turn it. It's a bit stiffer, but it does mean it doesn't drop out, which is quite nice. That's all right, actually. And this one's even undone. So the the friction on these is quite good. It's nice and heavy. Uh, it's a little bit, let's zoom out. It's a little bit high um, for my liking with soldering. I mean, this is my hands off the bench here. I prefer to be uh, sort of resting like a pen a little bit so that I can put the, the base of my wrist onto something. So um, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Uh, and I guess for if you were using a heat gun, maybe that would be okay. But this plastic, I'm not sure what it is. We could probably um, do some tests later on. I'm going to buy a heat gun so we can figure it out. But I'm pretty sure that would melt. So not ideal for a heat gun. But yeah, that's not a very comfortable position um, for me to solder. I guess I can rest my hand here a little bit. That might be okay. And then I think I just have to get used to it. But um, it's nice to have it quite up and close. If you've not got um, great eyesight, 
then having it closer up would be really useful, I think. Especially if you paired it with some kind of magnifying glass thing. At least then you can sit in a normal position and not arch over, which is incredibly frustrating. Uh, so let's just, uh, have I got any components? Yeah. So I've got, um, there are some holes on this board. They're not actually made for resistors, but we're just gonna pop one in. They're fairly small holes. So yeah, you've got, uh, if you pop your resistor in like that, then you would, uh, do you loosen one? No, you don't need to, you can just turn it. And then you've got uh, that ready to solder. That's that's quite useful, isn't it, really? So that, uh, you know, usually when you, uh, when I, maybe not you guys, maybe you've already got something like this, but usually I'm doing all the small components first because I want to be able to turn it over. And, and then it just becomes a bit unstable. Uh, but this is quite a useful little thing. Let's see, have I got another circuit board? Yeah, I do. So remember we made this recently, didn't we? We, we I always say that. I mean, I made this recently, this little frequency counter. So uh, that would have fit quite nicely in there. And we can pop the components in the top. Let's take this one out. I think we've uh, sort of demoed that it can hold a PCB. And yeah, we can just use the spring on that. It's probably gonna have to come a bit further out for this larger board. So we'll do that. Is that gonna be enough? Yeah, it looks to be enough. Sort of uh, just eyeball it a little. Ooh. No, a little bit more needed over here. But it's, it's quite easy to adjust. I don't have to do an awful lot here. There we go. Yeah, you know what? I'm down with this. I think it's okay. It could be a little bit awkward when you've got things right at the edge and you want to solder those, but I think you just have to persevere. Yeah, not bad. I think it's, I say not bad. It's actually, it's, you've got this thing, which is great for like quick little jobs, but this is far beyond that. So much nicer piece of kit. This is going to be, this is very durable, this thing. Um, it's a bit of a pain in the bum, but uh, for, for what it is and for what I use it for, which is close work, then yeah, it's great. Um, and it's brilliant for holding SMD stuff. I, I think this would be okay too. We'll give it a go in, um, maybe we'll do it on the next Lazy Sunday, which is probably like two weeks away. Uh, but yeah, not bad. I like the ability to just inspect the back of the board and put it back down exactly where you had it before. That's useful. A good little bit of kit, I think. So yeah, I'd recommend it. For, for 10 quid, you can't really go wrong with something like this. It's very durable feeling, it's heavy, um, and it's got nice little rubber feet. Yeah, not bad.